Okay guys, today we are going to uninstall or unlink our Microsoft OneDrive from our computer. So this is part of an ongoing project to convert this mini Razer laptop into a full subscription fee uh, computer. So this is going to be one of the first things we'll be doing today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do uh, to unlink OneDrive from your computer is to go down to your OneDrive folder. Go ahead and open that. And then once it's open, you're going to go to the left side of File Explorer and go ahead and right click on the OneDrive option from the pane on the left. And once you right click, the pop up window appears. We're going to go down to OneDrive and select Settings. And then from the Settings window, you're going to see this option to unlink this PC. We'll go ahead and click that. We get a notice saying that unlinking the account on this PC, that the OneDrive files will no longer sync. Locally available files will remain on this device. So what that means basically, let me cancel this real quick. Everything that's on OneDrive appears in this window in File Explorer. And so what it's saying is that, is that you're going to lose access to all of these folders from this PC, even though your files will continue to be accessible and up to date uh, in the cloud on the OneDrive storage. Local files would be anything here that's on your local PC, uh, primarily your documents folder. So if you wanted to keep a file of some or all of these files, you're going to want to go ahead and copy all of these OneDrive files to your local documents folder before unlinking. So once again, let's go back and right click on the OneCloud option. From the pop up window, scroll down to OneDrive settings. And at this point, you can unlink this PC. We're going to go ahead and confirm unlink account. And your computer will proceed to unlink your OneDrive account. All right, that does it for this a short tutorial on how to unlink your OneDrive. And once that's done, you will no longer have access to this option here with the OneDrive link in your Windows pane. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to stay tuned for upcoming videos of uh, essentially moving to trial software to save some money or to cut back on perhaps features you have not used in, in many years like myself, these next couple of videos will be dedicated to removing subscriptions and then testing to see if the trial versions are sufficient to replace our reliance on the paid versions that we've been using all these years. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.